for today, we are going to have another thorough nursing drug study of your methocropamide. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational content to help nursing students with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I'll see you. I build my nursing educational content three times a week. Don't miss that out. Subscribe now and hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that would really help me know that you like to see more content like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. And it says, Happy New Year, Team Kulto! Kumusta kayo? Maligayang, maligayang bagong taon nga sa ating lahat. At gusto kong pasalamatan ang lahat ng mga bago nating subscribers. Welcome, welcome sa Team Kulto. Nako, pasensya na kayo ha. Kung hindi ako masyado nakakapag-upload lately. Alam nyo naman, holidays. But, rest assured, we are back on track. At kagaya nga ng sinabi ko, patuloy tayong gagawa ng mga nursing educational contents para naman tulungan ka sa pag-aaral mo ng nursing. I know that nursing school and nursing studies and kahit mga professionals na sometimes kailangan natin ng refresher and study guide. And on this channel, I create specific contents to help you guys with your nursing study. Alright? For today, we are going to have another thorough nursing drug study of your mental compromise. We are going to discuss about alam mo na, um, indications, contraindications, side effects, uh, what else? Nursing responsibilities, of course, all of that good stuff in one video. If you haven't watched the other nursing drug study lectures are created, I'll be putting the um, actual playlist here. You check that out. And marami pa akong ginawang contents. May anan, um, anatomy and physiology, procedures in nursing, um, what else? Medical, surgical, nursing, nursing theories, and all of that good stuff. Check that out. Support my channel. Support para sa atin. <laughs> Alright, I hope that this year we can get to 100,000 subscribers. I'm just putting it out there. Are you guys ready? Because I'm gonna need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so hi everyone. Welcome back sa ating formal discussion ng iyong metrocopramide nursing drug study. Now, this is another entry natin sa ating nursing pharmacology and let this be your nursing study guide. Now, if you haven't watched the other videos I created under sa concept ng ating nursing pharma, mga nursing drug studies, nag-create ko in the past, I'll be putting the actual playlist on the description box or kapag nag-pop out yung icon button dyan, i-click mo lang yan. Ililink ko din dyan yung iba nating mga discussions related to nursing, okay? So, you guys ready? Alright, so ano-ano ba yung mga dapat mong asahan sa lecture na to sa ating nursing drug study? Of course, we're gonna have the classification generic and brand name, route and dose, mechanism of action, indications, contraindications, side effects, adverse effects, and of course, this will not be a nursing drug study kung hindi natin isasama ang nursing responsibilities. So, handa ka na ba? Let's begin. Alright, first of all, classification, generic name, brand name, route and dose of administration ng metocro Pramide. Medyo nabubulol pa ako. Metok na lang, okay? Alright. So, here we go. Classification, GI stimulant, anti-emetic. Alam naman natin yun para sa mga um, nagvavomit na pasyente o nasyated na pasyente. Um, classification din niya, niya ay dopaminergic blocker. What are the generic name? Iisa lang, metoclo. Pramide. Alright? Brand name, Premeperan, Reglan, and others. So, Premeperan is the famous one that you can find or you can find in the market. Now, route and dose of administration. Available po siya sa injection, sa tablet, sa syrup, and dispersible tablets. So, sa injection, ang stock dose mo is 5 mg per ml sa syrup. Meron kang available dalawang stock doses, 5 mg per ml, 10 mg per 10 ml at 
tablet per orem naman, 5 mg and 10 mg. Meron din tayong dispersible tablets, 5 mg and 10 mg, which is basically the same with your tablets. Okay, very straightforward. Proceed na tayo sa next. Mechanism of action ng iyong metok. Ano ba ito, you guys? Let's discuss this. So, metocopramide enhances the motility of the upper GI tract and increase gastric emptying without affecting gastric, biliary, or pancreatic secretions. It increases duodenal peristalsis, which is decree um excuse me, which decreases intestinal transit time and increases lower esophageal sphincter tone. It also a potent central dopamine receptor antagonist and may also have serotonin receptor. Ano yung serotonin receptor na yon? Yung 5-HT3 antagonist properties. Now, how does metocopramide works? Now, this works by blocking a natural substance called dopamine, um, which can actually cause your nausea and vomiting. It also speeds up stomach emptying, like I said earlier, and movement of the upper intestines, which we all know as peristalsis. Okay? So, yun is siya. Yun lang yung mechanism of action. Proceed na tayo. Indications ng metok mo. Okay. So, indications of metocopramide are the following. Relief of symptoms associated with acute recurrent diabetic gastroparesis or paresis when oral treatment is not feasible. Prophylaxis of nausea and vomiting associated with emetogenic cancer chemotherapy. Yes, binibigay nga po ito kadalasan sa mga cancer patients natin when they're undergone chemotherapy. Kasi diba, isa sa mga side effects ng chemotherapy natin is nausea and vomiting. Prophylaxis of post of nausea, vomiting, and circumstances where nasogastric suction is undesirable. Alright, so once again, this is your indications for metrocarpamide, nausea, and vomiting, period. Ano naman ang contraindications ng meto? Kaninong pasyente mo siya hindi ibibigay? Ito po siya. Okay, mm, well, one is paraben. Medyo marami ito ha. Paraben hypersensitivity, procanam, uh, procanamide hypersensitivity. I really try to list down all the all of the contraindications, so sana ma-appreciate mo yun. So, metox should not be used in those patients with hypersensitivity, of course, to drug or its components. Reaction have included laryngeal and glossal angioedema and bronchospasm. Since metox is structurally related to procanamide, Anamide or procainamide, metocropamide should be used cautiously in patients with unknown procaine or procanamide hypersensitivity due to some structural similarities with these agents. So, sa discussion na to, i-address ko yung metocropamide as metoc. Okay, wag malilito. So, yun lang siya. Kasi sa area kadalasan tinatawag siyang metoc, di ba? So, gawin natin, pasimpli natin, boy. Tsaka nakakabulol siya, girl. <laughs> Okay. So, okay. So, ano pa mga contraindications mo? GI bleeding, GI obstructions, and GI perper, uh, perforation. Metrocopramide stimulates smooth muscle in the GI tract, and use may be dangerous in certain con uh, conditions that will be aggravated by increased motility. Ano yung mga uh, conditions na yun? Example mo, mechanical GI obstruction, GI perforation, and ito na nga, GI bleeding. Meto has been used to empty the stomach of blood prior to endoscopy. Okay. Parkinsonism, Parkinson's disease, seizure disorders, seizures, tardive dyskinesia. Variosinous reactions including serious movement disorders can occur with metrocropramide therapy and may be dose dependent and duration dependent. Metoch is contraindicated in patients with history of tardive dyskinesia or dystonic reaction. So you nasha, okay. Ano pa? Children, infants, meto, uh, meto, cut. Children, infants, metemoglobin reductase deficiency, metemoglobin, ha? Meto, metemoglobin, metemogl, metemoglobinemia, metemoglobinemia neonates. Children and infants are more likely to experience extrapyramidal effects from metocropamide. Intravenous metocropamide is FDA approved for use in pediatric patients to facilitate small bowel intubation. 
oral method is not FDA approved for any indication in pediatrics, although oral administration has been used off-label in pediatric patients for certain indications. Cardiac diseases, heart failure, hypertension, and pheochromocytoma. Because methochromide produces a transient increase in plasma aldosterone, certain patients, especially those with congested heart failure, may be at risk of developing fluid retention and volume overload. If these side effects occur at any time during methochromide therapy, the drug should be discontinued. Caution in Cut. Caution is also recommended in patients with existing hypertension or cardiac disease that may be sensitive to catecholamine release. All right, abrupt discontinuation, depression, driving or operating machinery. Bakit? Various CNS reactions can occur with metrocopramide therapy and may be dose dependent. Avoid the use of injectable oral and nasal metrocopramide chronically in patients with history of depression. It is only used when the expected benefits of therapy outweigh the potential risks. What else? Hepatic disease, poor metabolizers. Metrocopramide clearance is reduced in patients with hepatic disease. Oral or parenteral dosage adjustments are required in patients with moderate or severe hepatic impairment. The use of methoc nasal spray is not recommended in patients with moderate severe hepatic disease. Methoc metabolites, ah, cut. Metrocopramides metabolite is formed primarily by C1. Okay, what else? Renal failure, renal impairment. Metrocopramide should be used with caution in patients with renal impairment and renal failure due to possible accumulation and toxicity. Reduced initial oral and parenteral doses are recommended for patients with reduced creatinine clearance. Bakit? Kasi nga, this is being metabolized in the... Uh, this is being excreted in the uh, kidneys. So kapag may renal failure, uh, failure or may problem ang yung pasyente, you need to be cautious with that. Breast cancer, hyperprolactinemia, and infertility. Methocropamide stimulates the release of prolactin and may cause hyperprolactinemia. Some human breast uh, cancer may be prolactin dependent and therefore metocopamide should be used extremely cautiously in patients who have a history of breast cancer. Pregnancy. Available data with metrocropamide use in pregnancy is insufficient to evaluate for a drug-associated risk of major birth defects, miscarriage, or adverse maternal or fetal outcomes. Currently, available animal and human data do not support an association between the use of metrocropamide in pregnancy and congenital defects. Ano, nakakasunod ka pa? Sabi ko marami ito eh. Next, breastfeeding. Limited published data report the presence of metrocopramide in human milk in variable amounts. Historically, metrocopramide was recommended to be used in caution in breastfeeding mothers secondary to the potential for CNS effects in the infant from the use of the drug. Geriatric. Mga elderly, geriatric patients should receive the lowest dose of metrocopramide that is effective. The elderly are more at risk for side effects such as tardive dyskinesia, confusion, or oversedation and Parkinsonian-like side effects. The risk of developing Parkinsonian-like side effects increases with ascending dose. Pataas, okay? Ano pa? Malignant hyperthermia. Rare occurrences of neuroleptic cut. Rare occurrences of neuroleptic malignant syndrome o yung tinatawag nating NMS have been supported during metrocropamide therapy. This potential fatal syndrome is comprised of the symptom complex of malignant hyperthermia, altered consciousness, muscularity rigid, cut, muscular rigidity, and autonomic dysfunction. Okay, so once again, these are your contraindications. And that was mouthful. Okay, proceed tayo. 
side effects na po. Anong side effects ng metok mo? Ito, listeners says, restlessness, drowsiness, fatigue, trouble sleeping, o yung insomnia, you have your headache, confusion, dizziness, skin flushing, breast swelling or tenderness, nipple discharge sa mga nanay, dry mouth, nausea, vomiting, ooh, diarrhea, constipation, <coughs> skin rash or itching, or injection site reaction. Sa injection, uh, sa injection cut, sa injection site, pwede ka magkaroon ng pain, itching, burning, swelling, or lump. Tandaan mo lang na kapag dinidiscuss natin yung side effects, this are, these are expected, you know, um, effects na maaasahan mo sa pasyente mo uh, kapag nag-administer ka ng metocropamide. So, pag sinabing side effects, aware mo yung pasyente, or, or let your patient know na, um, Maring makaranas ka nito pero hindi mo dapat ikaalarma yon Kasi hindi yon warning signs. Ano yung warning signs? Ito na siya, adverse effects. Okay. Very straightforward you guys. Restlessness, drowsiness, fatigue, lassitude, tardive dyskinesia, EPS, Parkinsonism, akatisha, seizures, hallucinations, NMS, yung diniscuss natin kanina, hypertension. Kapag naranasan to ng pasyente mo, discontinue the metocropamide therapy. Fluid retention, discontinue mo rin. Hyperprolactinib hyperprolactinemia, hypersensitivity reactions. Kapag nag-manifest ng, tag dito, ng adverse reactions, mga warning signs ang yung pasyente, ito, tigil ang metrocropamide. Okay? Alright. So, ito na tayo. Malapit na tayo matapos. Nursing responsibilities. Nurses, itong gagawin mo as part of your nursing assessment. You need to take history. Allergy to metocropamide, GI hemorrhage, mechanical obstructions, or perforation, pheochromocytoma, epilepsy, lactation, previously detected breast cancer. You gotta make sure that you have this in your history, okay? What else? Physical. Orientation, reflexes, affect. Pulse, BP, bowel sounds, normal output, and EEG. So once again, these are all parts of your nursing assessment. Part yan ang data gathering mo, pati yung history taking and physical examination. Alright, ano naman yung nursing interventions mo or nursing actions mo? Ito na siya. Monitor blood pressure carefully during IV administration. Monitor for extrapyramidal reactions and consult physician if they occur. Extrapyramidal reaction, diniscuss natin to kanina, yun yung mga adverse effects niya. Alright, monitor diabetic patients, arrange for alteration in insulin dose or timing if diabetic control is compromised by alterations in timing of food absorption. Alright, warning sign mo nurses, keep diphenhydramine injection readily available in case of extrapyramidal reactions. Okay? Kapag nangyari yon, dapat meron ka laging, meron kang diphen dyan. Um, meron ka dapat laging diphen dyan. Ano yung nasa, uh, ang stock dose ng diphen mo? 5 milligrams? I am. Okay? So, another warning, nurses. Have a fentolamine, cut. Have a fentolamine readily available in case of hypersensitivity crisis. Most likely to occur with undiagnosed pheochromocytoma. Alright? So, ano-ano yung mga pwede mong i-health teaching sa pasyente mong nag me metok Ito na siya. Take this drug exactly as prescribed. Do not use alcohol, sleep remedies, sedatives, and seri and serious sedation could occur because serious sedation could occur. You may experience these side effects, drowsiness, dizziness, do not drive or perform, you know, activities that requires, um, you know, full mental alertness, restlessness, anxiety, depression, headache, insomnia, nausea, um, a reversible nausea, and diarrhea. Ano pang pwedeng part ng health teaching mo? Lastly, yan ayong report involuntary movement of the face, mga tardive dyskinesia mo, eyes or limbs, severe depression, severe diarrhea, because these are your 
adverse effects. Warning signs ito. Okay? So once again, nurses, thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope may natutunan kayo. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. If you want to see more videos like this, you gotta let me know. Subscribe to my channel. You hit that like button para alam ko na nandiyan ka at nakikinig ka. Okay? Now let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do in the future. Comment it down below. Abangan nyo yung mga susunod nating uploads. At for the meantime, kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung other videos ko for, for uh, related to nursing educational contents, I'll be putting the entire play, uh, playlist, <laughs> nabubulot pa ako, playlist on the description box or check out the uh, icon button kapag nagpapout yun, nandun sila yung la, manapakarami kasi kaya yung iba dun lalagay ko lang dun. Pero check out mo yung channel ko, help me spread the news. I hope that this year we'll, get, um, we'll be on our way to 100,000. I'm just putting it out there. Okay, 100,000 sub, yes team, cool to. Alright, so help me out, spread the news. Um, once again, Happy New Year to everybody. I hope kung nasan man kayo ngayon, mga plano nyo sa buhay, eh, mag tuloy-tuloy at magtagumpay. You guys stay safe, okay? Help me spread out the news about my channel. Um, ipamalita mo na ang pinakabago, pinakafresh at libreng nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. I'll see you again, nurses. You have a good one. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you learned something. Help me grow my channel. You are already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team cool Talk. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out all the playlists. It's like radio feel. We'll be putting the links on the description box. You simply click the second button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts everything is at neil galve except for my tiktok account which is neil galve official i'll see you guys there Mwah.